Before um, we start, man, please like and subscribe. Thank oh. you very much for watching, and if you're new, welcome! Welcome to possibly the most overrated uh, guitar review channel on the whole of YouTube! Have you watched that guy that goes, welcome to the most overrated uh, YouTube... <laughs> he's got a car thing, and that's what he's... Um, anyway, he's got a car thing, him. I can't remember. So, or something. who Whatever. knew, Mr. It Pete, is very overrated that here. back in the early days of Black Star, the second range of products they ever released was a range of pedals, yes. valve-driven pedals. I actually pedals. did know that because you, you told that, me earlier. Yeah. I did tell you what in the yeah. cut that we did like half an hour ago when we didn't realise the cameras weren't recording. The kind of yes, like that. Anyway. I do remember telling you that then. <laughs> um, and now in 2021, uh, Blackstar have revisited that kind of concept, uh, yeah. but made it better. Well, right? you would think so when we move forward with everything, you know, you learn from like a crisis of not going to panic buy toilet paper. You would think, you know, you would <laughs> learn from stuff like no. that. Blackstar has definitely learned. And this is better. This is it. Right. Uh, okay. <laughs> Three pedals, um, two dual drives and one single drive boost. The dual drives are, are quite a lot more complicated or not complicated, sophisticated, that's the right word. Oh, than the like um, Exactly. <laughs> Um, Mr. Bond. So let's. What you heard in that opening that uh, good, jam man. was basically Pete plugged into a clean guitar amplifier that sounds like this, <laughs> using uh, this pedal and a little bit of this pedal to get the the uh, distortion tones that you were hearing. Yeah. Um, so first of all, we're going to demonstrate these as just plain good old fashioned distortion pedals good old running into a tube amplifier. Mm, mm, mm. Um, <laughs> and then after that. We're going to plug complicated leads like these and USB, USB. cables and that, stuff why, in. Uh, can I just um, put it quickly point out, why do you use that USB? It's a big port in the back. I can park my car in there, man. It's just, mm -hmm. it, this, this USB plot, why? Yeah, it's like what the is printers the, what is the, from 1987. What, uh, anyway, what? look, so. So what makes these pedals slightly different from most of the overdrive pedals uh, that you can buy is this little gnome lives in each single one here. You can see. <laughs> He's got a little silver hat it's, with a point on the top. He's really of it. scared that the government yes. is going to find out that he's been panic buying. <laughs> he's wearing his in. Faraday <laughs> hat like this and texting about probably reading um, Reddit conspiracy, or conspiracy theories, theories and absolutely. stuff. Yeah, yeah. Posting uh, yeah. anti-vax stories on the internet. <laughs> he's got, and he's um, got that an extra little <laughs> Faraday cage. But no one will know. No. Uh, anyway, yes, uh, as you can see, there's a little valve in each one of these, a little preamp valve here. Um, and that gives obviously the pedal a certain characteristic that most guitar players will love. Yeah. Um, so let's just, the first part of this demo, yeah, we'll, we'll use this, and the second part of the demo will show you uh, how it sounds straight mm. into a computer using some software called Architect, which you get with it. Oh yeah, I um, So stay tuned for that. I okay. Mean, it's, it's showered us with features on this one. You know, you've got your XLR out, which is great. If you've got the thing on a pedal board and your amp breaks down, you know, you just give the sound man, go, can I have an XLR cable? And as I said before, no, he's not. He's going to go and get a kebab first, and then he's going to come back and go, a what? And then you've done it yourself <laughs> by that time, 20 minutes later. You got an output here on the side, which is also but a jack cable. And then the effects loop, which I really like, because you can put your favorite uh, reverb, I would think, in between. But so anyway, the, let's So the red this. one is the slightly milder overdrive of the two. So we're going to do the bulk of the demo doing the red one. And then right at the very end, we're going to plug the black one in and try it with this guitar, which has got an extra string for some reason. And an ever tune. Um, it's always in tune. Uh, right. So, it's Mr. Pete, guitar, can yeah. you please strum a chord of what the amp sounds like? <laughs> Sans pedals. Sans um, now, pedals. channel one has a clean and a crunch mode, like this. Sorry. Channel two has a crunch <laughs> and an overdrive mode. Yeah. And the idea is that you toggle between them. Rather, there's no sense that you have both channels okay. on simultaneously. You can't. You can't. The clean mode on channel one, mm -hmm. I suspect, is more 
for when you're just using the, the DI output rather than adding over the top of another clean sound on your amplifier, because it doesn't sound that different. So if you strum a chord. Sorry, I'll turn it up first. On this beautiful Hanson double bound a gold top telecaster, which you can actually find Hanson in the links below there. It's okay, sell those. Uh, so do that again. <laughs> and there you go. With <laughs> That's not much, a bit of compression could, from the tune. I, yeah, I could gain it up a little yeah. bit. Yeah, yeah. Nice, uh, like, just a rocky kind of tone. Good. But crunch, I think, is where the fun starts mm. uh, and where it starts to sound like a traditional overdrive pedal. Mm. And I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of the boost as well over a mild crunch, just so you can get an idea. <laughs> so here's mild... <laughs> That's a good talk. Okay. It's really nice. Yep. The boost on its own. In fact, really nice. here's an, it, let's just demonstrate the boost on it. Okay. Go on. So that's... Oh, hello. Very clean, isn't it? Very clean. I mean, that, why would you ever take that off if you have a, an amp? Nice. You know, just, I mean, can I again, just say uh, the the reverb you're hearing now is from the DP40, nothing else. So because later you will hear it from a different place. So uh, that I might, sounds good. I, I may or may not kick that in at other times during the demo, but it's pretty obvious. Are if they I do. brothers? The two uh, gnomes there? Are they uh, yeah. related? Uh, so they're sitting they're under sis their like They're sisters, actually. Oh, the brothers. sisters. Yeah, absolutely. They're sitting down. Can't they're you like tell? That. Oh. Um, right. <laughs> uh, as we let's go through the sort of the the, the range of gain on this okay. channel here. Jared James, isn't it? That it's got that. It's got that black star. Just change key. We don't mind if I do. Good man, Good. it's nice and it's inspiring to play. As you can see, the more gain you dial in, the less impact a boost pedal will have. Right, let's quickly, whilst you were doing that, I, um, or if you could carry on doing that, I'm I'll sorry. do all the EQ yep, and yep, yep. the ISF, the infinite shape feature. What did you say it was? I'm not going to say that. You can make internal up what I think. function or something, wasn't it? It's one of the two. Uh, oh, you can, now we can't <laughs> use that bit unless we bleep it. We yes. could bleep it. Yeah. Anyway, right. Uh, so play that groovy. Sh to say 
The, Say. the sign of a good product, I think, personally, a well-designed product, is when the best sound comes when everything's just about 12 o'clock. Yes. I've got a t-shirt like that you can buy if you like. I anyway. think he has. Start, on his own store. Start every, with everything at 12. Start with it. So, so yeah, my favourite tone there with that, with that it is, um, look, guitar is... That, is, is <laughs> I put like a smidgen more gain and level and maybe treble, but not much. <laughs> To clean up, Lee. It. I no, think it's that, really good. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a good looking is, pedal as well. Yeah, that's why valve amps are, that's why valves are such a great thing to use. We should open it up and see if it's actually attached oh, yeah. in there. It's just the hat. There's nothing <laughs> yeah, in there, is there? Little, Brilliant. It's two little eyes by, on uh, it. <laughs> by Blackstar. You know here. what? You know what? Actually, when you we did notice when you plug it in first, it needs to warm up before any sounds yeah, come through. That's just the it. software. That's, Scott, yeah. basically, it's a, don't don't start working for ten seconds so people believe it's really a valve. No, that's true. Pete, what Pete said is yeah. totally true. It's Dobby. Um, isn't it? <laughs> All right, let's go to the second channel. I won't. The second channel has a crunch or an overdrive mode. I won't do the crunch uh, channel again because it's basically the same as on the first one. Uh, so now we're just using its overdrive mode. So Dobby wants heavier. to play the overdrive channel master. <laughs> Does Master want Dobby to play the yes, PRS guitar? he does. <laughs> uh, whilst Pete's changing over there, I've remembered something, which is unusual for me nowadays. <laughs> um, the, uh, one of the things that was super annoying about the predecessor version of these pedals was they had these 18 volt That's weird right. power supplies oh, that so annoying. you could never use off a board. These are now 9 volt 500 milliamp, so just normal board power supplies, multi-power mm. supplies, should um, as long as you've got that 500 milliamp output uh, yeah, sockets, yeah. run these. Anyway, something with a humbucker just to give us a bit more edge and a bit more fullness. Uh, here we go. Okay, Master Dub, you will play the PRS now. <laughs> That many of you are watching this video going, just tell me how much it is because if that's a good price, I want to know how much it is. I just want to buy this as a straight distortion pedal for my guitar amplifier. I'm not interested in USBs and XLRs and Architect software, everything like that. I just want to buy this pedal. Uh, and the good news is, it is indeed a quite an affordable pedal. It's two forty nine for the red one or the black one. Two one fifty nine for the white one. It, now it's a good price. I mean, you say affordable. That's relative. Money is relative. I don't anyone. mean affordable like it's fifty quid. What I meant, yes. What I meant uh, was, if if you go into the compared you know, to other things, yeah. Look at look at most of the sort of you know what you'd call boutique single button you know on and off distortion. Two hundred quid. And they're all two hundred quid. Yeah. So for another fifty quid, you've got valves, you've got two channels, you've got stuff you're never going to use. I mean, it's like, <laughs> and it sounds good. It does sound. I good. wonder. I wonder. Fish. Mm. Fish. Cold wonder. Yes. If you could put that in the effects loop of an amp and use this as the preamp and just use the power amp. Of course on you could, your... absolutely. Yeah, well, just plug into the effects return. If, that's if what you've I mean, got yeah. power amp oh, in oh, or oh, effects oh. return, absolutely. It's another, now, that's another one. Uh, next, we are going to now plug <laughs> this thing in. Look, I just caught it this morning, it's still alive. Um, <laughs> that reminds me. I'm going to need a <laughs> toilet. It? 
Um, so now we're switching the amp into standby mode. Um, oh, yes, yes, yes. Into, um, what was his name? Standby. Yeah. Benny Sam King. Cook, Benny, Ki Benny ben King. E. King. Ben E. King. We're, yeah. we're putting it into Benny King mode. Yeah. Um, and uh, everything you hear from now on is going to be straight into our computer interface. Uh, and I will screen record this computer here and show you what the architect software Before I do this, like. here's a tedious link from Benny King Stand By <laughs> Me into the kits which are in that film, Stand By Me, right? Yeah, yeah, Those yeah. kits are also River in Phoenix. River Phoenix, who uh, sadly passed, passed away. away. Yeah. But uh, um, and was it Corey Feldman or whatever? Was but, he in that? As yeah, well? he was in that. As well. But some of those kids were in the first It, right? Film. Have you ever watched It? Yes. Yes. And the new It, you know, the clown Pennywise, he sounds a bit like Dobby. I thought you were about to say one have of you the ever, kids. Have from, you ever? No, no, no. I but have you ever, one of the kids is the actor who plays the no, second No, because it. I made the Dobby voice. Master, what's this? Yeah, and he goes, you're right. He he goes. What does he go? Everybody floats down here. <laughs> Hiya, Georgie. Can See? I literally another Hiya, story? Hiya, Georgie. So See? Pete, this is Miss whether this makes it into the final edit. I don't know. Pete showed me the tray, uh, some clip, and it's um, it's wow. the clown. It's it, it, and there's a. I think he's underneath like a football stadium or sta like wooden stands, and there's yeah. a, and he's going like to this little girl. I think she's she got a birthmark or something like that. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. can't remember. And yeah. he's just like, oh, you know, we can be friends. We can be friends. friends. All this kind of stuff. Everybody's perfect. Anyway, if you've seen the trailer, you know how that ends. For some unbelievably uh, <laughs> random decision, I decided I'd show my seven-year-old daughter that <laughs> I'm not kidding. You showed she that, She is though. literally shit scared now of anything that looks, I suppose, clown, like she yeah. would be. And all I have to do in my house now to freak her out is go, come here. <laughs> Hiya. Hiya, Georgie. See, okay, Lee, you know what? I'm going to change back to this one here because it's uh, single coils and we knew what that sounded like in the beginning. So we're just going to swip back to the Hanson. You know what? There's a reason we call this guitar Old Reliable. <clears throat> yeah. Because uh, it just, just sounds great and it never ever goes out of tune. I've cursed it now. Yeah, you cursed. There you go, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so, so we're, on a, we're on a crunchy tone. Yeah. Uh, a very mild crunch, as you can see from the yeah. settings here, yeah. assuming the camera's still working. Um, <laughs> and now I'm going to just change some of these settings. Okay. Uh, and we turned the reverb up and off on this, and you're going to hear reverb from Logic instead now, because it's just a little bit underwhelming, and it's like being in a room, and I <laughs> wish you would put reverb, a proper yes. reverb in there, well, I plate, think, just the option, give so us we, the option. We've got a beta version of the Architect software here. Yeah. I'm, to be honest with you, this product releases in like a week from now, so and on the day you're watching this will be released. So chances are this probably is the, the version of the software. But yeah. a couple of things, Blackstar, if you're watching, um, maybe it's just me, but I'm finding the using the mouse and the draggy thing a little bit, you, uh, you, you know, Difficult to do. I mean, obviously, it's it is he's me not a Mac user, about. so yes. that might be why um, he's no double click thing. But I was born in the 1930s. Uh, what I would like it to do is, I know I want to select, you know, one of these little round uh, options here. Yeah. I'd like to just be able to yes. click that option, just, uh, and then it would better, do it. Much easier. Uh, and and I think it would be great. So I don't, actually, no, you can't because there's no reverb has to be in here, and this is just the controller for it, isn't it? Oh, so it's that's a, a reverb chip in there. Well, no, it's that's what I'm saying. Or? There's not. So the audio signal is not going into the pedal into some sort of DSP processor no. here and then back here. There is a DSP. The, yeah, the all I'm doing is controlling oh, okay. the. So unless there's some component oh, software, here that can do reverb. Can it be reverb software? Can that be a thing? I don't Pass. know. Don't know. But it would no. have been nice to have some reverb in there. A bit of paint. Hey, hey ho. Hey. Uh, hey. Let's keep going. Let's try hey. resonance and stuff like. That. Oh, and it does that little... Yeah, every time it changes from one to the other, the software is kind of doing this... But that's fine. fine you, 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 you wouldn't click do it that in real no, time. Exactly. I'm having so much fun watching Lee trying to use a Mac. <laughs> sound bad at all. I mean, I like... I think 
it'll stack up against the. Let's see what some other cabs. Let's see what some other cabs sound like. Uh, 212 upright yeah, cabs upright, upright, and again it's basically each microphone has two positions it's really I mean I know if you're a, a sound engineer you know you, you're going to spend you know hours moving microphones in microscopic positions but fundamentally that the, the, you either point it at the code or you have it off axis and that gives you either a brighter or a sort of a darker tone and that's okay. essentially what uh, the, the, the software is allowing me to do here it's that famous um, uh, Jimi Hendrix album <laughs> Axis, on, like on, a, off axis. A, on, on off axis, on or off axis <laughs> yeah. uh, from yes. Okay, well look. So that's. Um, I mean, I'm, I think I'm probably just going to leave this cabinet now with a 57 on it, as we've got, and we might go. I might go a little bit off axis for the gamey sounds. Whilst Pete's changing guitars, I should I tell you that the little three position switch here called Cab Rig is basically allowing me to store three rigs that I've designed on here in here so that when I'm out on the road or whatever, I don't have to have my computer open that, to it. Um, I can just open that little when you click up, up there in the left hand, right hand corner. Here's not that, that one, the next one. one. That one. See? So you can see, yeah, you've got your three little rigs here. <laughs> Idea, right? Okay, yeah, so you get the tons idea. to play with here. The software's free, um, and uh, I it's say awesome. free. I think the software just comes with the pedal. Yeah, you go on, on the um, slide, sign in the email address. Uh, down it comes. Not much else to tell you about this. I think we will literally just for the last two minutes of the, the, the thing 
plug this back in. What yeah. do you want to do? Stay with the DI or back into? Well, the let's amplifier? do both. Let's do Already both. Just, just really dokey. quickly, see what we can do. Um, okie dokie, little and talkie. Right. Okay. Well, au revoir, everybody. Uh, links are below. If you'd forgotten what I said, or I said it in a different version of this video that we didn't finally use, this is <laughs> two forty nine. This is two forty nine. This is one fifty nine, and they are on sale right now. Woohoo! Links are in the description below. There is free Again, shipping man. in it's the good. UK from Andertons uh, and subsidized cheap shipping to everywhere else if in you the can world. get if you can find a lorry driver to take if it, you uh, can find yeah. a lorry driver yeah, yeah absolutely because they're basically with petrol stuff okay yay thank you very much see you next time like and subscribe love you loads <laughs>